Hey, my name is Alexi, Alexi B. Virolainen. I'm 25 years old and I play for NIP. I started around 2007, 2008 with my first FPS game. I was introduced to CS 1.6, but I didn't play it yet too much. And then CSGO came out, we started playing that. And from there on out, it was a few years playing amateur tournaments with my friends. And then I saw I really enjoy this game and the com competitive aspect of it. But 2017, everything turned around when I got my first professional contract. The difficulties were obviously the fact that I had to prove my parents that this could be a thing, even though the money was pretty insignificant. As soon as they saw that it could be something and we kept winning these tournaments and we even had some, some headlines in Finland, they could also see that it went a bit more international. So I kept competing in, in tournaments that were overseas. Obviously, then I gained all the support to try to do it as best, best as I could. Right now, my life uh, consists of me traveling here to the office in Stockholm from Helsinki. Everything is just so organized and yeah, get, getting the feeling that you're involved in something also bigger than you just playing, playing your games and, and whatnot. It's way more hectic in a way, because there's so much to do. I'm usually using my tablet. I don't usually get any notifications on that thing. And being a part of screens and all these notifications in uh, like 24 seven, it feels like. I mean, it's a kind of like an unwinding thing for me, especially when I take it out at night or when I'm flying, I just feel like I'm kind of disconnected. It is currently, I feel like, harder to become a pro because of the fact that there is a lot of people competing. The biggest thing you can do right now is have access to all this free content and free guides and whatever. You can not really use them in your favor. Speaking about my game, I don't want it to be franchised, but having a calendar year, which would be almost done, before the year starts or just when the year is starting would be like a perfect scenario because right now there's a lot of things that are being told to you one week prior. The comparison to me starting my career in 2017 and joining NIP now or, or how, how the esports life has, has, has changed, it's like night and day because no matter what happens from here on out, I think I'll be in the same section doing something in esports. All things considered, that small change was the deciding factor of everything, right? Like if I didn't got the chance then, maybe I'm not taking a chance in the future, right? So I think it came in the perfect timing.